So as you see in this page, we have the laptop motherboard block diagram, as you can see. So in this diagram, you can see all components, chips, and ICs that compose this motherboard. Okay, so here, as you can see, the first chip or the first compound is the processor, the CPU, as you can see, UNA 478, the type of the CPU. In page, as you can see, page 15 to page 18, okay? Page 15 to page 18, exactly as we see here in the previous page, as you can see here. Okay, do you see? Well, here we have the processor, Yuna, we have 15 to 18. Okay? And as I told you, always near to the processor, we have the clock generator. Okay? The IC that generates the clock signal or the timing okay and then here we have a connector x xtp connector here we have the gmc hatch as you see we have here the gmc hatch as you see as you see this is the 1466 gmc hatch in page 20 to page 24 Okay. And here we have the IC hatch or the south bridge. This is GMC hatch or north bridge, and this is IC hatch or south bridge. So I have a question Where is the graphic card here? Where is the graphic card? I can't find the graphic card because the graphic card is integrated with the GMC hatch. So this chip contains two chips the GMC hatch and the graphic card okay so that's why the GMC hatch is connected directly to the memory as you see to the RAM random access memory we have here DDR2 as you see in page 25 and also in page 26 okay and here as you can see the GMC hatch that contain the graphic card is connected as you see to screen ports CRT and LCM or S video okay so here as you can see the connection between the processor and the GMCH is FSB or front side bus as you can see this is the connection between the processor and the GMC it's just one connection front side bus okay and as you can see here the GMC hatch is connected to the IC hatch via DMI or direct media interface. So the frequency of this bus is greater than the frequency of this bus. Okay. And the connection between the GMC hatch or the graphic card and the RAMs or random access memory is DDR2 interface. So here we have three different connections front side bus fsb dmi or direct media interface and ddr2 interface okay all these connections have a different frequency always we find a frequency here for the front side bus is greater okay is about one gigahertz or more okay so let's go now to the ic hatch as you can see this is a very important chip this chip is connected to the whole motherboard to anything in the motherboard so this ic hatch is connected to the hdd it controls the hdd or the hard disk drive okay the type of this hard disk drive is SATA hard disk drive, NUT IG or SCSI hard disk drive. Okay. Also, it is connected to the system BIOS, as you can see. This is the basic input output system. 
okay so also as you can see here it is connect the ICH is connected also to new cards via PCA Express 3 also is connected as you see here also to do ODD or optical disk drive okay this is a fixed optical disk drive also as you can see here it is connected also to as you say LAN card or LAN motherboard and also the card bus also here, here we have the mini card for the WAN and mini card for the wireless also and also here this card is connected to the RG45 so this is the block diagram where you can see the connections in this motherboard in general okay in general okay so as you can see here also the ICH is connected to USB ports as you can see you have here the USB 0 USB 1 2 3 4 5 U6 and 7 so in this in this motherboard it has seven usb ports so from zero to seven so seven or eight usb ports one two three four five six seven and eight okay so this is a big motherboard okay so also the ich is connected to the u to the bluetooth okay the ICH also is connected also to the super input output as you can see to, or to keyboard controller and then this also is con is connected to the serial port and parallel port and as you can see here we have the Azalea codec okay its type is AD1981 HD it is directly connected to the ICH okay and also here we have the MDC connector as you can see with the voltage of 1.5 that is connected to RG11 for the phone so here as you can see we have some information here so of course everything here contain its pages for example this Azalea codec we will find it in page 43 for example okay so for example for the fingerprint schematic exists in page 36 for bluetooth schematic in page 58 for example for this the usb3 schematic in page 48 etc so here as you can see we have more tanks more other tanks we have the main bath and the travel bath this is a battery the main bath in page 6 and here we have the system charger and DC to DC system power in page from 6 to 13. So this for in page 6 to 13 we will find all power circuits. The charge IC circuit, the battery circuit, the 3 volt and 5 volt circuit, 1.8 and 0.9 circuit, the VCC, the, the VCC core circuit or the CPU circuit etc. Okay, 